Gallery of I think I think this is working. Oh. I, I hear myself. I don't like that. Am I doubled up in your audio? Cause I sure am in my own. I don't like that. This is not so bad. I can't hear it a ton. Hmm. Not doubled on stream. Okay. Well then that doesn't bother me then. Cause I can't, I can only barely hear it in my own headset. So that's not going to bug me too much. Um, yeah, I have a TI. I found a thing. I Did you hear it that time? It could have been just because all the other stuff was muted. Still didn't hear it? Shit. All right. Well, I mean, if it's if it's not a sound issue, then I'm not streaming. So hold on. Let's pull this back on screen and see where that's going or and or not going. I mean, I, I guess I could just go back to the other one and huh, it should be coming through. That's weird that it's not, I don't know if I can change a whole damn collection while I'm on stream. You know what? Fuck it. Let's find out. It's not like it's anybody other than just you and me here. Let's go. Here we go. This may crash everything. I don't know. Can you hear me now? I don't see me, but I hear me. Am I still alive? I heard that. Well, the stream didn't die. I don't know if anybody can still hear me. I am live. Uh, what happened to my camera is... Strategy my Oklahoma ass. That's cheating, plain and simple. Look, there's me, tiny me. Tiny, tiny me. I don't know why I'm so tiny. Can your sounds now? Okay. Uh, yeah, my NVIDIA camera, it seems to be just like... Like, nah, we ain't doing that anymore. I don't, I don't know what happened to that, but let's, let's go back to this other camera here. That also is very tiny. Oh, I wonder if I need to, let's see. Yep. That's weird that that vanilla cam is so small now. Sorry, I call it a vanilla cam because it's, and put any filters on it. Okay, give me a second. I actually do have my big ass water bottle here beside me. Yeah, weird. Yeah, camera just don't want to work no more. All right, it's, it's the in, NVIDIA. Oh, I guess you can't see me. It's the in, my NVIDIA like camera thing just doesn't, doesn't want to work anymore. It's just like, nah, we're good. What happens when I do this? <laughs> nothing. See that flaming screen down there with nothing in it. Nope. I definitely don't appear anywhere. Yes, broadcast. I don't know why it's not working. It's on. There it is. Hi. Why that's not working, I don't know. It's very strange. Because I can go over here. I should be able to go over here to my camera. Go to the properties. Turn this one on real quick. We'll go back to it. Change it back to NVIDIA broadcast. Click OK. Nothing. Hello there. What's up, Kenny? 
I'm trying to figure out a weird camera issue I'm having at the moment. Not real sure what that's about. For whatever reason, my camera just does not want to do what it should anymore. I wonder if it, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it just, it just doesn't, I'll just leave this window open so you can see me. Just move this around, crop this out. All right, let's make a real quick Lego scene here. Oops. Yeah, it's real weird. I don't know. For whatever reason, this camera works here. It just doesn't want to work when I actually add it to anything. Uh, okay, we need to add some shit over here. So let's add this. Ooh, where's the microphone? I just lost it. This, I can add this one. There. And then we'll add... I don't know that I really need a display capture, but we're going to add a display capture. Just to have something to look at. Okay, so we're going to switch over to this one real quick. Boop. Go to this one. Boop. Okay, you should still be able to hear me. I haven't added anything else in, but you should still be able to see and hear me. Now let's add all the other stuff in here. Like, oh, let's add that in here. Why not? And then we'll add... Uh, let's see. No, oh, I don't want that. We'll add this. That up there for now. This is like super on the fly. Create a stream overlay. I don't even know what those are. I should have named them better. Sound alerts. Put that over there because I don't care. Twitch alerts, put that on screen. Add. Mm. This, I guess. Oh. I wasn't supposed to activate. That's not the right group I want to have on there. Remove. Oop. That was probably pretty loud. I apologize. Um, and then I, that's, that's probably all I'm going to add right now. Right? I don't know what that is, honestly. Okay, so let's add camera. This one, and we'll add, change the properties. Yeah, it just, it really just does not want, I wonder if you can quit NVIDIA broadcast and then restart it maybe? Because that seems to be the thing that's broken. NVIDIA container? Video broadcast. Okay, let's let's end that. We'll end this. I just have NVIDIA container. I don't know what that means, so let's go back into broadcast. Doop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yep. It's, it's it's still there. Hmm. 
Real weird. Properties. Broadcast. Noop. 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 Didn't want to do anything. Can you replace the source with a new one? Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was going back and forth between sources. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Yes. And then we'll add a new source. And change that one. I wonder... I mean, it's not open in anything else. Like, that's usually the thing, Strategy right? my Oklahoma ass. That's cheating, cheating, plain and simple. This thing is, this thing is cheating. Can I put this camera on? Okay, well, that's weird that it has a circle on it. I don't, don't know why it has a mask on it. Oh, I, yes, I do. Never mind. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Remove. Uh, okay, so. I'm just going to add that one back. I'm going to call that down cam. That's what it is. Camera that points down. Put that on screen. Even though it's not doing anything now either. The fuck is happening? <laughs> that camera was just on screen. Yep. That's, that's not it. That ain't it. That ain't it. Okay, now I'm lost. Why? Okay, so why can I remove that one, right? And then put my old camera source that I just called webcam. Why is this camera showing up now? It won't show up in the other one. And also, can I turn these filters? Yes. Okay. Well, at least I can put this on screen. Even though it's real weird. Can I add that other camera in here and just change it? Call that one broad. Broadcast. And then go to this. Do it this way. Nope. Still doesn't like it. That's fucking weird, man. That's real weird. Whoop. Oh boy, I've really screwed it up now. Here we go. I don't know. It's very weird. Very weird indeed. All right, let's uh, let's back this this way. Shrink this down a little bit. Three quarters of the screen. In my hand. Just do that, and then I'll move that. Cheat it and move this over to the bottom of the screen. <laughs> uh, that's a real cheap way of doing this, but hey, whatever. It works till I can figure out what's going on. I'm going to throw this on screen too. I have a chat window over here. I'm just going to stick this fucking right here. And then we're going to go. One more thing we're going to do here. Oh, I can't do that because <laughs> I have to have that camera over there. Uh, I can... Uh, fuck it. Never mind. You just have to stare at my background. All right. So my plan was to build Legos. Yep. And build this Lego set. Because it's been sitting on a shelf over here behind me for... I don't even know how long. I'll turn this off, right? Make it a little more interesting. There we go. Ooh, let's do this. 
I don't need two chats, right? I already have chat on the screen, so let's get rid of that. And we'll move this up. We'll cheat this even more. Whoop, like that. Oh, that almost looks like that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> and then I can do, hold on. Then I can do, uh, where'd it go? This, make that a little bigger. Take that down. Maybe if I, hold on, let's do, make, put this here. And put me down here. There we go. Now, now we got it. Now we're, now we're cooking with ass. Now let's do it that way. I know, but I don't want to drag shit around. You can also drag the, yeah. I don't want to stretch anything here. And this isn't really a source. This is just literally my background. This is literally my desktop. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just there. Anyways. Uh, you don't see my big dumb Stanley cup that I got. So I wanted to build this thing because I'm a big idiot and love the Fast and Furious movies. Um, and it's been sitting over there on a shelf and I need, I want to add this to um, my desk at work. So it is 319 pieces. I should be able to put that together on one stream, I would think. Uh, my kid has, I got this for my kid because he loves cars anyways. He has a crap ton of these Speed Champion sets. Um, but I like the Fast and Furious, so I wanted to buy this one for myself. Actually, I need to some tunage here. Let's get this going. Uh, boop. And then we'll add... Can you hear the music playing? I can't remember whether I have to add that as a source. I think I do. Well, now there's no music playing. Uh, flex. Yeah, where did I put that? It just started playing? Okay, good. I wasn't sure whether you could hear it or not. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of stickers. Okay. Okay. So, since I haven't done a uh, Lego stream in a while, I figured, screw it, let's do one now. Oh, there's no separator in here? That's how I put my stickers on. This chassis here. The only thing about doing these build Lego builds, is I feel like I need like a white table to do it so you can see the pieces better. But I got I got rid of my uh, it was like a a um, bath mat that we had. It was like white. Uh, that's what I was building originally on, but we got rid of that. out of here a long time ago. I was trying to find a... I feel like every room over this house has a Lego separator in it somewhere, but not this time. Oh, you can't see because my big head's... But I, uh... Just far enough over... No. Okay, so... I changed my background a little bit behind me. Not that anybody's ever going to see it, but... Now, instead of... This right here used to be a pirate ship, I brought the Milano out, so now the Milano's over there. From the Guardians of the Galaxy theme. Alright. Let's start the game. I guess I gotta build Brian first, right? Hello there. Dumps, what's up? Just building some Legos. Enjoying... Yet another stream issue that seems to have cropped up. But we're dealing with it. We're making we're making shit work. Playing Eld Ring. Ugh. It's with you people in this game. Brian's legs and everything else. Oh, he's got a wrench. Of course he's got a wrench, right? It's, 
Is head crooked? Okay. This, um... We are just to know. Yep. 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 I could say, you know, like I've been saying on Lunar when streams when he was streaming, like, just wish those games were easier. Like, yeah. Yes! Mm -hmm. I know that's not the point of those games, but I don't really care. I'm not a masochist. I want to explore. I don't give a shit about anything else. I just want to explore the world. Hello there. But I'll never be able to do that because it's too friggin' hard. What, uh, am I missing his wrench? In this package? It's in my package. Yep, building some Legos. I was gonna do a, another Starfield stream, but I, as I was telling uh, Lunar when I first started this, um, I think I'm going to have to take that stream to my Xbox because no matter what I seem to do trying to optimize this thing, it just, it still chugs and it looks like shit and it's really annoying and hilarious actually because um, we're doing the, doing this one this is the one we're doing. Fast and Furious, Nissan, whatever that was that Brian drove, Nissan Skyline, right? Um, I find it hilarious that I can play Starfield on my Steam Deck and have no issues whatsoever. But the second I put it on this computer with a fucking 4060 Ti in it, nothing, it, it won't do shit. Okay. That doesn't make any sense to me, but I guess I'm not an expert, so what do I know? How are y'all doing tonight? What are y'all up to? Is it, it's probably not for days, but is it hot as shit for everybody else? I guess days you're going in you're going into like winter time right or you're already in winter time of f1 ones f1 ones um my oldest son has like 30 of these speed champion sets i'd say yeah, yeah cold here boy i'd love to have a little bit of cold i think the heat index today was 106 humid yeah uh, it wasn't so humid today, but it's going to be coming in soon because it's supposed to rain uh, off and on throughout the rest of the week. So, you know. Yay! I mean, we need the freaking rain, right? But it's... Oh boy. Not really looking forward to the... Uh, absolute disgustingness of the humidity. And Virginia is a humid one. I mean, not so much as like Florida, but boy, it gets na nasty. It's foggy as shit here this morning. We had some fog roll in. Uh, I guess it was this weekend. It's kind of weird. N not for any particular reason, but it's just like, oh, okay. Fog's here. Got it. I do like building these speed champion sets. I actually almost bought the um, the Dodge Charger one because they made a smaller version of the Dodge Charger, not the giant one that one my son has too, but he got that for Christmas one year, but I, I wanted the smaller version of the Dodge Charger just to have a match for this thing, you know, have a dom to its Brian, but I don't know that I'm ever gonna get that thing. This piece? weird these weird like half pieces it's like two one by ones like jammed together but not really what oh this is why i need a brick slipper because i already fucked up how many pieces is this it is 319 319 How did your um, how did your puppy dog fare through all the fireworks there, dumpster? Uh, what? Oh, this. Piece. We went to a baseball game that night, 
left our poor little kitty all by himself, but he seemed to have done pretty well with it. It was disgusting at that baseball game too, boy, but sure was fun watching the fireworks afterwards. Not too bad, he put a brave face. Well, yeah, yeah. Just be glad you don't live at like a beach. I don't know what people's problem is with fireworks in the beach, man. We went to uh, the Outer Banks. That bug. Um, three years ago, I guess. Uh, for Fourth of July, and boy howdy. We didn't, but somebody called the police on the people setting off fireworks because they were doing it from about dusk until three in the morning. Just not continuous, but like to the point where you're like, okay, that was the last one. Now we can go to bed. And then it was like another 15 minutes of fireworks. You're like, oh my God, what are you assholes doing? Don't you want to go to bed at some point? The, the answer was no, they did not. They continued to do fireworks. Uh, I found a kitten now. You found another one? I know you had a kitten, but you found another. This is a another kitten. You showed one on stream that like a while a little while ago, and it was a very cute kitten with a stripe on its butt. And I'll be just public. I mean, yes. But like, I still don't think you're allowed to do the fireworks like that. Could be worse. It could be shooting in the air like over here. Yeah, a friend of mine lives downtown and he's like, <laughs> he's like, I get to play that fun game of is it a firework or is it a gun? He's like, most of the time it's a gun because he lives over by, um, I mean, it's the James River. I don't know what section of the James River it is, but he said basically like people will go down to just unload in the river and they're just like, brap, 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 brap. And like, it's far enough into the woods and by the water that nobody comes down there because like, why would you also, they're firing off guns. And he's like, I just, we just have to listen to it and hope strays don't come flying. Like, fuck, that sucks. I can't I can't imagine doing that with like my two small kids, you know. Small one's 15. But, you know, one of them is small, I guess. Wait, is that another two? That's the same two, right? Yeah. Exclamation point, but yeah, I mean Yeah. That is the, are you talking about, wait, are we talking about a different cat? Cause that's the one you, sh that is the one you showed on the stream was the one with the stripe on its butt. Yeah, those bullets come down here. Yeah. Eventually they will come back to earth. Hopefully you're not anywhere underneath of it where, where it does. Yeah, that's the one I showed. Yeah, yes, that was the cute stripe butt one. Okay. I keep like missing pieces. I'm like, am I blind? It's all the way back here. Oops. Sorry. Same gun first. Whoop. See? That gravity stuff. Yeah. Gravity and curvature of the earth, you know. Really gets some people. Science is hard, man. Science is hard. Some people just don't understand how things work. Where are we going here? I've right, got two in the front. And two on each side. Yes, I had seen him. Very cute kitty. I watched your convenience store simulator or supermarket simulator or whatever it was. Told there would be no mathematics on the stream. Yeah. Sorry. 
I married a math teacher, so I don't have to do math anymore. That's been my excuse for the last almost 20 years now. That's a weird piece. I don't know that I've ever seen that piece before. Like, got the piece in between. Hmm. Usually it's usually it's just this. It doesn't have a piece underneath of it. I swear Lego makes up their own problems and solves them with new pieces. Like, well, we, we could just put two of these together and it would work the same. Like, no, let's make, put another piece in there. Let's make another piece. Okay. Okay, boss. Here. The other one goes on the other side. I'm reading that right. We got another two angles here. Oh man, I was just helping out another uh, of my cohorts today at his school and I really had to talk myself out of thinking that it was before the end of the year. I was like, man, we're getting a lot of crap done. Like we're going to have nothing to do when we come back to school. And I realized, oh wait, no, this is the beginning of school. That's not how this is working. That was a real bummer. Just on the front one, is that all we gotta do here? I should have tagged you in this video, DG. There was a video I saw on Instagram because that's where I get all my videos now from. Of, I think they were making God, I don't even know what they were trying to make. It was like some sort of like piece for an industrial product of some sort. And the machine that was making the piece was molding this metal thing. And the way it was molding the metal, it was like, oh boy, this is very phallic. And the lady's reaction was like, hmm? <laughs> I was like, yep. I thought that too, ma'am. That definitely looked like this This machine was making a dildo. And then it turned out to be some like metal piece for some industrial thing. And I was like, oh, okay. Now we're good. What? Where does this go? Oh, this goes around like this. Nope, that's not it. Where's the other one? Am I blind? There it is. Answer? Yes. What they use the silicone rubber for is none of my business. Yep. It's very true. It's very true. Once it leaves the factory, they are on their own. Go with God, I believe is the phrase. Okay, sure put those headlights on, right? Anybody do anything fun over the weekend? Go anywhere? Sweat in a fun place? I did not. Uh, that's not true. I went and played D and D for like six hours. That was fun. One of my players, his character got killed, and so he resurrected a new character. And the whole storyline between behind how that character came about was real fun. My DM really knocked it out of the park putting that together. I was very impressed. Sweat with yard work fun. No, there's no yard work to be done. It's too hot and everything is dead. That's why we need the rain so badly. I haven't cut grass and uh, before I went on vacation, which is now what, five weeks ago, four or five weeks. Just really bumming out my youngest one. Cause he's like, I want to cut the grass next time. Cause he wants to earn money for it. 
like hey i'll let you do it but problem is there's no rain and there's no um grass to cut so told him he could make money um washing my car and my wife's car but he didn't want to do that oh nuts to you but the weeds are going crazy taking over no not in my house like all you know like when lawns go dormant quote unquote that's kind of what it looks like out there everything's just weird yellow dead grass color it's starting to come back a little bit because we got rain actually got a lot of rain on friday um so i'm hoping some of that shit's gonna come back but i don't know we're not on a we we just started mandatory like drought stuff like yeah don't wash your car don't um water your lawn don't do whatever which is funny too because i just spent it's going the right way now uh i just spent like two days maybe a couple weeks ago like a full several hours of washing my roof which is of my house which sounds really weird but like we have the way our trees are and the way the sun hits it and all that stuff we have problems with um mold and uh moss growing on our roof so i finally got sick of it and i was like i, I need to get rid of this shit because it's ugly and it needs to go so i bought some stuff and was scrubbing it off power washing and all that stuff um and then they were like yeah don't do any more stuff with your water and i was like okay well good i'm already done with that so i guess i'm in the clear but like just done that <laughs> Why am I holding on to these pieces? Grass is dormant dead. Just weeds show up. Yeah. I'd I'd love to have some weeds, because at least it would be green, but no, we don't have any we don't have any nothing. We got we got nothing. Just crunchy grass. Okay, so we go this way. Nope. This way. One. And then this one, another one of those, there it is. Turn it that way this time, so now we go this way. This one, oop. That piece just liquefied and disappeared, I don't see it. Yeah. In some countries, uh, let's see. This goes like this, right? Yeah. And then like this, like that. Yeah. Okay. We're making an exhaust pipe here, clearly. Uh, my birthday is Saturday, so that's fun. This can't be right. Oh, never mind. It is. I don't know if I'm going to do anything for it. We're going to go out to. Um, dinner wife's taking me out to dinner and that's probably it i'm gonna try and be as lazy as possible on saturday whoops on there that's an interesting technique for doing that but that's whatever works Gotta get an ice cream cake to cool off. Yeah. We got an ice cream cake for my oldest son years ago. And we did, we misjudged the uh, time we needed to take it out of the freezer so that it could thaw enough that we could eat it but not melt. And boy, let me tell you, that was one of the most annoying things to try and do in front of like 25 people is try and cut a frozen solid cake should have 
and we were doing the like hot water treatment on the knife and all and it just was not it was literally not cutting it it was rough uh if we had had one i totally would have um it didn't it did not want it did not want to cut like at all it was very bad kids were like, stressing because they wanted to eat i was stressing because i was the one holding up everything it was not fun it was not a good day good night happened at my wedding oh boy i don't i don't envy that one at all kenny that sounds rough especially when you got like guests like i don't know did you have like did you have drinks at your wedding was it like an open bar situation was it a dry wedding like because that can make a whole lot of difference too they could go one of two ways it could either be just fine because everybody's drinking they're like what ifs we'll get it later or they were drinking and they're like i'm gonna murder you at your own wedding if you don't give me some of this fucking whatever his name is <laughs> i was trying to think of the what is the guy's name from baskin robbins fudgy the whale that's it Try to make a joke about Fudgy the Whale and it didn't it didn't happen. Um When's your Yes, Carvel, exactly. Cookie Puss. That's the one I was actually thinking of. Cookie Puss. Um Kenny, when did you what time what time of year did you get married? Uh let's see. Two of those, these, this, this. Where do those go? Oh, this. I want ice cream. I know I had ice cream tonight and I want more. And that's even worse because it's already, what, 9.30? Getting, getting closer to 10. Um... Can't have ice cream this late. Not good for me. I'm trying to be better about what I eat. I've never really cared about my weight so much as just kind of like been a silent observer of it. Yeah, after 10. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, and I was like, you know what? I should probably A, pay more attention and B, I should be aware of whether I'm overweight or not. And so I did a bunch of I did a bunch of my own research and turns out for my height. Oh, you got married in April, too. Yeah, we got married in April as well, because our um, just had to because both of us work in school. So that was our spring break and that was what we had to do. Um, turns out looking up for my height, I am dead center of my weight like optimal weight whatever they want to call it i should do air quotes down here not up here here anyways um i was like oh okay well then i guess i'm not really worried about it if i'm at my optimal weight then i guess i'm not gonna bitch and complain that i'm overweight even though i feel like i'm overweight but as I was telling somebody else, I was like, I feel overweight because I graduated high school at a hefty, hefty six foot, 113 pounds. So <laughs> at this point at 45 years old, I feel like I am a behemoth when I am actually not even close because I've gained a bunch of healthy weight, I guess, that I should have gained decades ago. Uh oh, what I, what I miss? Missed a flat piece here, I guess. Um, so yeah, that kind of colored my perception of what is overweight and what is not. That and the fact that I'm 45 years old and like everybody I run into is talking about how they're trying to lose weight or whatever and so 
I'm just trying to keep up with the Joneses on that one. Go to the doctor, they'll tell you to lose weight. I went, so I went to the doctor when we got, I have an appointment actually. That's another story. Anyways, I went to the doctor when we got, oh Christ, I just snapped that whole goddamn thing right off. Oy. What the hell happened there? Oh, that's just, I don't know my own strength. Um, I went to the doctor when I, when we got life insurance. And at that point I was like, oh, I don't know whether I should be afraid of what the doctor's gonna tell me or not. And so did a bunch of stuff, you know, they ran all the tests and weighed me and didn't all kinds of work on me and blood work and whatever. And the doctor's like, well, you're uh, doing pretty good for yourself. He's like, these numbers look good and these numbers look good. He's like, you're, I can't remember what, what number it was. I don't think it was cholesterol, but he was basically like, yeah, you could probably try and like cut down on things like pizza and pasta and bread and things like that. And I looked that doctor dead in the face and I was like, that ain't gonna happen, man. If you tell me I'm gonna die because of it, yeah, I'll cut down on it. I, I will I will adjust my diet. But if you're just like, you probably could, no, I'm, I don't feel any pressure in that. So I'm just gonna keep on doing that. So that's what I did. Uh, I haven't been to the doctor in like six years. Maybe that's maybe this long. Four years, maybe. Um, so I called not too long ago because so I was like, you know what? I'm 45 years old. There's some things that I need to take care of. I don't really want to take care of that I need to take care of. Um, like, well, let me call the doctor and set up an appointment or whatever. And the doctor's like, oh, okay. Well, you haven't been here in long enough. So you're basically a new patient again. I was like, oh, what does that mean? And like, well, you need to, you need to go back basically on like the new patient's list. I was like, okay, again, what does that mean? And they're like, well, we'll get you in the next time you see a new appointment. New patients is October. I was like, oh, cool. And this was in like May, not even May, probably like April. Like, well, I guess I'll take that appointment and just forget about it for a while. Because that's what's going to happen here. I'm not going to remember it. Um... Did I just peel off the wrong damn sticker? I sure as shit did. Oh boy. Okay. Talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. And I need a separator. It's easier to peel these stickers off of them, but not gonna get that, are we? Yeah, doctors are funny like that. They can just like come at you and be like, yeah, what's up, fatty? I'm like, okay, all right. That's Maybe a little harsh, but don't screw this up. Totally peeled the wrong sticker and that's my fault. That's my fault. I was like, oh, they all look the same. Nope, they are not the same. I needed 18 because clearly these paint stripes are going to have to match. Yeah. Yeah, Doc's got a lot going on, I think. So I got a, and then I got a text message like maybe a week or so ago and they're like, hey, we got to reschedule your appointment. What? I made this appointment like A, three months ago for B, six months later. And now you're telling me I'm going to have to give this appointment up? Yeah, that would look dumb because those stripes now they match um so i called and the doctor's like oh the nurse or whatever registration lady was like yeah he's going on vacation like didn't he know he was gonna do that why why you gotta why you gotta do that to me now all comes down to money and the patient can see existing patients faster and yeah sure I mean totally right like i'm i'm not oblivious to that but it was just kind of like i guess m my uh 
inconvenience with it is that like i'm i get what they're saying that i'm a new patient but i'm not like i've been there <laughs> i've been to the practice i've been seen by the doctor now i have a different doctor that's not even the same doctor i saw the last time i was there uh, it's just kind of it's annoying for that reason sucks if you have health concerns yeah i don't my wife does but i don't um at least not that i'm aware of it's kind of the reason that i'm going to the doctor i guess right like that's that's what i need to get to the doc for is to make sure i don't have any health concerns because we had kind of a health scare with my wife and uh it really made me think like oh i should probably make sure that i'm healthy because shit happens and we have two small again smallish children and i need to make sure that they're okay so but she's okay and we're okay so we'll make it through i'm not as concerned about her health concern as i was concerned when we first found out we should be concerned saying a lot of stuff over the internet just said a lot of words that don't mean anything yeah i got some we got some fun news right before we went on vacation for spring break so that was that was rad fun way to start spring break okay got through some of those Harder stickers. Start back over here. This, right? Oh, that's wait. Hold on. Slow down, Junior. Let's let's do this. This is what I tell my kid when he builds Legos. Let's do it instruction by instruction, not skip around, because that's how you get lost. And pieces end up getting in the wrong spots. Tempers flare and not good. That goes here. Like why the why the why this piece? Why the red? Why was there this green piece under here that I can't get this piece off to show anymore? Oh well. There's a green brick under here. Why is there a red brick here? It because this is gonna happen. And then poof, now it's gone. That always that's a weird one for me with Lego is why they continue to just straight up hide things in their builds. Very weird to me. I did find out, I don't remember what I was watching. I guess it was like an official Lego video on YouTube or whatever. I found out why they have all the random colored bricks on the inside of like a lot of the big lego sets like let's say just for instance like the death star or whatever there's a bunch of random colors inside of it um because as whoever was building was explaining that like harkens back to the days of like i just want to build this car or this ship or whatever and you just kind of put shit together based on what you had. And so not all the colors were always gonna be the right color. And so they kind of like, that's their homage to like builders that just kind of literally scrape stuff together and figure out how to make things. I was like, well, that's interesting. At least that explains that instead of it just being like, yeah, we just like blue. So we stuck blue inside of all of these Batman sets that are nothing but black and dark gray. To the outside, that's interesting. You said you're playing a multiplayer game, Kenny. What are you playing?
mean, you're you're a big smite player are you still playing that that's not on there at all we're playing smite okay there you go hey called it That's another one of those games that I respect and I think it looks really cool, but I don't think that game is for me by any means. So I just don't play it. Maybe that's the wrong attitude to have, but I know what I like and I don't think that would be what I like. I don't waste my time. Ooh. I do like all their crossovers, though. That's probably the part that draws me in the most. It's like, you know, like they did the Ninja Turtles and they've done like other cool 80s stuff. I think they did. Didn't they do a Transformers this crossover or something? Viewing something I don't play what I don't like. Yep understood yeah i um i was telling somebody the uh just today i had a dream this morning maybe maybe it was yesterday morning either way i had one of those weird early morning dreams of like where your brain's just like, yeah, we're gonna hit you with the crazy stuff right now, right before you wake up. Okay, cool. Um, and I had a dream that I went to work at, of all things, GamePro, which is defunct, not an existing magazine anymore. I went to work at GamePro. My, uh, Oh, uh, my mentor was Jeff Gerstman of GameSpot and Giant Bomb fame. I went in the day we were going to go to E3 was my first day of work. And in my dream, I sat down with him and the first words out of his mouth to me were you stupid motherfucker <laughs> no you dumb motherfucker that's what he said to me that's <laughs> like it's warranted that's just totally warranted yep that's me i'm an idiot <laughs> and i remember waking up shortly after there i think the only thing i ended up seeing at this weird fictitious e3 was uh footage of the new indiana jones game and i remember thinking like that's that's rad my kid's really gonna love that and then I woke up like, what the hell kind of dream is that? Game of Vision. Oh, boy. Gizmondo. Work for them. But yeah, I like immediately woke up just like, what? <laughs> what was that? I have some wild dreams sometimes. And that was that was a good one. That was a fun one to wake up to. Or from, I guess. I wouldn't mind getting back into reviewing games again. It's been, as they say, a minute since I've done that. Uh, but then again, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the pressure of having to play through an entire game or at least the vast majority of a game to interview or to review it. It just, it sucks. And I, I don't like having to do it, but then again, I work really well under a deadline and that's some of the best work I've done is under deadlines like that. So, 
like whenever I do our yearly uh, movie marathon thing where we watch my friend and I watch all the movies for Halloween and review them or whatever. Like I always start off pretty strong going into October and have like already have like two or three ready to go. But then like by the end of it, I'm like not struggling, but I am starting to stress slightly that I need to get my ass in gear and do more work. <laughs> and that's when I'm like really on my game and do my best stuff. And that's not a way to, that's not a way to live. <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to do that. But I totally get how people say like, oh, I work better under pressure. Like that was me. I definitely did better work under pressure for things like that. Hey, we're in bag two already. Two of two. It's only one of each of those, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I get that too. I definitely came from a job. I wouldn't say my boss was an asshole, but I definitely came from a job where I was micromanaged just into dust. And it was the absolute worst. I mean, I had, we literally had every morning a 15 minute stand up meeting of like what are we going to do today I worked there for 11 years in IT for like most of it and it was like basic not data entry but like data management stuff and like by the end of it I just wanted to go we're doing the same shit we've done for the last 10 years man it's not going to be any different why do you expect it to be different? I'm just doing the same shit day in and day out. Like, what is so hard about this? Better with ample time to get stuff done. Mental pressure became too much. Game movies review in advance. Yeah. Yeah, the, the movie thing for October, I used to literally do, I would watch the movie that day and review it that day. Um, and that was fine for a while, uh, but that got way, way harder to do when I had kids. And I was like, I, I cannot even guarantee I'll have 30 minutes to myself, let alone like two hours, three hours to watch a movie and then review it. And sometimes, you know, you can't, I'm sure with like games, well, I, I am sure because I did the same thing, but like, you can't just, did I miss this stuff? No, oh, okay, I see what I'm doing. Um, you can't like, rev you can't finish a game and then like open up your computer and start doing the review immediately most of the time right like you got you, there's got to be a decompress like let me think about this let me kind of work my magic in my brain and get everything ready to go like where i want to where do i want this review to start sometimes you start a review thinking like this game sucks and i don't really want to write a view review that's you know of any like merit about this game and you start writing and then like you realize oh actually I feel differently about this game than I thought I did. And you change how like everything feels. And you're like, by the time you wrote, finish a review, you're like, actually, you know what? I did kind of like this game. That's things turned around and I did not expect them to. Um, I've totally had that happen. Like go into a review, like screw this game. Like, I don't want to, ever think about this game again and then you turn around and you're like by the time you're writing the review you're like yeah no that game was all right game was game was pretty good i've done that with movies too finish a movie i'm like fuck that movie 
And you're like, you know what? No, that movie's not. That movie wasn't bad. What are we doing here? Oh, but yeah, like I I could not imagine trying to. Well, now it's a little easier because my kids are 15 and 10, so I can be like, hey, look, leave me alone. Daddy's daddy's got work to do. Um, and they would leave me alone and I could do that work, but back then, no. Small children ain't gonna work out well for me. Um, where is the piece that I'm looking for here? Not that. It's like it's a black piece. There it is. So yeah. Hindsight, I guess, is 2020. I wouldn't mind doing another review gig, but I also don't know if I'm if I even could anymore. That that muscle hasn't been flexed in I don't even know. 12 years, I guess. Maybe more. All right, let's put the right stickers on the first time here. 15 and 16. The gone anywhere done anything fun for summer vacation I know that m most of y'all don't have the luxury of having weeks off during the summer like I do but you know everybody always takes vacation in summers anyway so all right so 16 goes here like this right and goes the other way. This. Had a solid week of fun. Ended with Six Flags. Nice. My son wants to go to Six Flags. He's a big, I think I've said on here before, he's a big roller coaster fan. Um, actually, we went. Um, I was, oh, right. Um, we went. To visit my wife's family. She has wife she has wives. Ooh boy. She has family in Ohio and Michigan. So we went through Ohio and went up to Cedar Point and hung out with her family there. Uh not at Cedar Point, but on the lake. And then went to Detroit. Went to Detroit Zoo. And then went up to uh, Mackinac Island, Mackinac Island, however you want to say it. And spent the night there, which I know a lot of people don't go up the Detroit, Michigan area, peninsula, northern peninsula, uh, upper peninsula way. But man, uh, my wife and I both agreed that if we could, we would totally live on that island because holy moly, is it beautiful up there um and then we went to michigan adventure in muskegon 
And then we came back through and went to Columbus Zoo. And that was all like over the course of a week. So it was quite the whirlwind tour we did of the near Midwest, I guess, which what I would call it. Um, but it was enjoyable. We had a lot of fun. I love seeing her family. I tell her family every time I see them, I'm like, I, I love you guys. Love seeing y'all hanging out. I just wish you lived closer. Genuine pain in the ass to come see you guys. <laughs> Which, um, which Six Flags did you go to? Atlanta? I think there's one in Atlanta, Savannah, right? We have to schedule almost literally all of our vacations around going to an amusement park because it's the only way we can get our 15 year old to give a shit about what we're doing anywhere else so that was why he got to go to cedar, cedar point and uh michigan adventure hello welcome Building some Legos. Chatting it up. Hanging out. Huh? Wait. Okay. Just saying one. I bought a Lego. I say Lego. It was not Lego. Maryland. Okay. Um bought a knockoff, I guess, Lego set that I saw an ad for on Instagram. So yes, they got me. Um, and I don't even know what it was called, like cube bricks or something. Anyways, it doesn't matter. The ad, yeah, the ad said I think it said it 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 was the way it was worded made me at a glance think it was built with real Lego bricks, but I think it actually said molded with real Lego bricks. Um, so when I got it, I was expecting, you know, and if anybody's, I mean, everybody knows at this point, like Lego. I don't know. If, actually gonna see it there but anyways lego bricks have the word lego written on every single brick somewhere every single brick has lego written on it somewhere so when i got them i pulled them out of the bag and i was like all right these are clearly not the lego bricks i thought i was getting and then i went back and looked at their website and saw my mistake and i was like mm, you got me you you guys got me um it wasn't expensive and it wasn't a bad set but uh i in my rush to buy them i should have read what i was actually buying first and i did not so that's on me but i bought a uh the a-team van because i was like i've never seen a set that was looked anywhere like this and it's again built using the idea of um, Lego bricks. So it looks at a glance like real Lego. Um, the only thing that bothered me was like, the instructions were terrible. Like they were online. So you had to go to a website to look at them. They didn't send you paper directions. And like, it was like a PDF. So I'm constantly like pinch zooming, like everything like, Oh, no, I don't know what this is like pinch, 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 like just trying to figure out what the F I was looking at. Um, the set went together. Okay. They had some weird ideas about how they wanted or how I guess they thought 
things were going to go together. They didn't. Um, because if you're familiar with the A-Team van, you know, it's that black Econo line looking whatever van. In the back, along the side, there's a red stripe that runs down the side. And then it goes up to the back. Well, to try and do that without stickers, because clearly they're not going to pay for stickers. Um, you have to do some real brick magic to make that work. And I get where they were coming from. And it was a good idea of what they were doing. But in actual practice, it did not function the way I think they intended and or thought it would. And I just ended up like saying, no, we're, we're not doing that. And I changed kind of how the bricks went together and it works. And it's just going to be a stationary set, just like this one that just sits on my desk anyway. So I wasn't really worried about it, but I was kind of bummed. I thought, man, I could buy these sets because it was like a full set for this set, you know, vehicle I've never seen before. <laughs> yeah, the P-Team van. Um, that I've never seen before and probably will, they will never make because of the licensing rights. And, you know, it, it wasn't expensive. It was $40, but it's, you know, it's a set that's like as big as this. So like, that's basically what you're paying in the store anyways. And it just, I don't know. I wanted to buy more of them, but like, nah, I'm not going to do that. I don't, I'm not paying the money for that. Is that a sticker? Oh, it is a sticker. Okay. Uh... Clear one by two by two. Oops. Um, gauges, I guess. Almost had you, bro. What are we looking at here? Yeah. Boom! Tough acting to acting. Yeah, I. I, I made this this overlay in a mad rush to get this Lego thing go going, so those don't actually work here. Apologize. I guess I could... I guess I could semi-make them work, right? Let's see. You know what? Uh, let's add... It's that woo-woo! It is that woo-woo. All right, Kenny, thanks for stopping by, man. Have a good evening. Hopefully I'll be doing this a little more on the regular, so. Hopefully I'll see you around again another time. And right, let's add. This one. And then lock that in. None of these sources are locked because I just, I literally put this, this whole overlay came together in like 10 minutes at the most. All right, let's, um, see if this works. I heard that. Okay. Oh yeah, that works now. So this might work. Boom. Tough acting to acting. There we go. So that means the rest of them should work too. Turd Ferguson. Yeah, that's right. Turd Ferguson. It's a funny name. Huh. Turd's not there. Let's try and... Uh, I guess I would never added him to this one. He was always in this one. Let's close that one and lock that one. Nope. The... Nope, stop it. This one. Now, let's see if... See if Turd shows up. Turd Ferguson! Yeah, that's right. Turd Ferguson. It's a funny name. There we go. So that means the rest of them should work now, too. If you really feel like messing with them. See? He's right. It is a funny name. Made you laugh. Uh, go on these gray ones here, right? Oh, I mean, come on now. I, 
think you've watched enough of my streams to understand I'm right there with you. Shedding him ears everywhere. Uh, okay. Got a blue on top of that. And which sticker? 14. Yeah, there's a guy I follow on Instagram. I'm sure a lot of other people. Oh, my dog. <laughs> a lot of other people do. Um, but he's like, what you need to understand is that men don't grow up, they just grow old. And like that's maybe the best description of age for a group of dudes I've ever heard. Like Yes, that is 100% true. And do not grow up, they just grow old. That's me. I keep trying to tell my wife that, but I don't know if it's going to sink in. It is the fairest of assessments, to be honest, like it. It really is. Wait, what? 11? It's really weird. So 11 is this tank looking thing, right? But like the sticker is just this. <laughs> That's the whole sticker. It's got to go on the back of this wedge, which is minute. Like that piece is so tiny. You finish with Lego set, do you typically leave it together forever or do you ever take it apart, and redo it years later? Um, these little ones like this that will more than likely live on my desk at work, I will leave together. Um, currently on my desk, I have one of those Star Wars standy characters that were made of like the, what were they called? The Bionics Legos? Bionicle Legos? It's a Captain Phasma um, that I... Hold on. Okay, so this one goes here that has the gauges on it and the other one is blank. Okay. Um, it's a Captain Phasma thing, so she sits on my desk, or stands on my desk. Uh, then I have the, um, Aston Martin DB5 or 4, or whatever it is, from James Bond. That is on my desk. The a aforementioned A-Team, not Lego, Lego set is on my desk now. Um, I have the Bonsai Tree. And the Thanos mech set, I guess. It's like that suit, armored suit thing that they did a couple years ago. That is on there. And I think that's all. No, and the um, piranha plant from Super Mario Brothers is on there too. And that's all the sets I have at work currently. This one will go there. I don't know that I'll do many more. Well, one, because I don't have a whole lot more room, um, but also, like, I can't really, they haven't really come out with any sets, and I'm like, hell yeah, that's got to go on my desk, other than the ones I just said. I guess I have a mini, I have a picture frame that hangs above my desk, it's like a thicker picture frame, it's like a, you know, two inches, an inch and a half thick. Um... And on top of that picture frame is a couple of the minifigures that I bought in those packs that they do, like the collectible packs, but it was the Muppets. I have Kermit, Fozzie, Animal, and Beaker on there. And then a small, literally that small, uh... Boba Fett Slave 1 set 
and Plankton's head are all on there. Star Wars sets that I put together, I just keep breaking them apart. Yeah, I held on to the boxes for a long time and then realized that they take up a shit ton of room. Um, and I didn't want to put them in the attic because I figured that if there's any moisture in the attic, it's just going to ruin them anyways. So I actually have thrown out all of my boxes. Um, but I do have... Oh, I didn't even put this piece in there. Um, I do have a big Rubbermaid tub that I, when I'm done with sets like the, like the set back here, this Milano, uh, that I just put together, that was in that tub in Ziploc bags, um, separate from everything else or separated from all the other sets. Uh, and the uh, pirate ship that I took off of the shelf behind me, that will get broken up into a Ziploc bag and then we'll go back to get, go back in there. And, and that's where it'll sit for a while. Till I build stuff. I do I do build things back together on occasion for sure. Um one of my friends doesn't understand that. He's like, why do you take them apart just to rebuild them? And I'm like, because that's the fun part for me, is putting them together. It's not just staring at them. Like the the sets, the big sets behind me, the Atari here, as this camera moves me back into mid-frame here. I can force it to look over here again. Here we go. So the Atari set, which you can't see now because my head's in the way. The Nintendo set, which is this TV and the Nintendo block or uh, entertainment system. This question mark. Um, this is Optimus. And I guess that's it. Oh, and then the sets that are really behind my head here. The Thanos glove, uh, Star Lord's helmet, and Thor's hammer. Those sets I will not take apart. Those will probably stay there for a very long time because they fit the aesthetic of everything else. So hey, I, my little honey I like them bucket. and I don't want them to go anywhere. What's up, Drun? Yeah, like the really big sets I'm not going to take apart. Like those sets took me days to put it. And I have the fucking... <laughs> I have the Dungeons and Dragons tower downstairs that literally took me like weeks to put together um, because I was building it off and on. But that took me so long to put together. There's no way in hell I'm taking that apart anytime soon. Run, are you just lurking out there, man? What are you doing? What are you doing? I feel like you're gearing up for something. I feel like I'm in trouble. I'm almost done with the set now. Let mortal combat begin. It began when I first started the stream and shit was already broken. For sure. Nope. This way. I had halfway contemplated starting to play um, Persona 5 again, but I got on and I really wanted to play Starfield. Um, and boy, that thing was just, like I said, was chunking it up. It was not <laughs> sometimes. Um, it was not playing right and that annoys the shit out of me. So I'm probably just going to uh, stream it from my Xbox because I know it runs well on there and that'll be less taxing on apparently less taxing on my graphics card. I don't know, man. Like I, I have a pretty good graphics card. I just upgraded that and my processor. So I know it's not my computer's problem. Oh, uh, it's not gonna work. Sorry. I can give you your points back if you want, but it's it's not gonna work here. 
No, no, the heat ray. But we can switch over to something else real quick. Joy to the world. Just to have a pop up. Beautiful Clark. Beautiful Clark. Yeah, I didn't have time to put all that shit together. What am I looking at here? Looking at it like this, right? The curve's gotta be like this. That's not it at all. Like this. How are you doing tonight, Drun? Someone never let me take time to put these together. I'll do it in one sitting. He will take over, slap it together, however. Get this. <laughs> yep. I I think I have trained my children well enough that they won't do that. But yes, I totally get that. My younger, my younger one, I think, is just past the point of getting pissed and tearing things apart. Uh, he has. He has built full big sets like by himself. His last set he built was one of the Technic car sets. I don't know which one. Um, and he was struggling with it, but it was complex. I mean, it was one of the ones that has like the working engine in the back that the little pistons come up and down. Like it was a harder set. Uh, I'm doing good. A little warm in my office. I really should turn this fan on beside me, but I haven't had the time to get up. I'm almost done with the set, so. I had this purple light that you see in my room is actually coming from my ceiling fan in here. Um, this is a bonus room over my garage and there's not a whole lot of headroom uh, in here. If I stand up and put my hands up, I can easily touch the ceiling and I'm only 5'11", so. Uh, I added this ceiling fan behind me and it does a pretty good job, but it needs it need to do a better job and it it's it's not right now not not too hot um but other than the heat things are good tear it up yeah so there's a definitive line in our house this is dad's lego set you have your own lego sets um I have had friends and family members who have given me Lego sets or old Legos. My boss literally gave me several thousands of pieces um, that his children had outgrown. And I brought them all back, washed all of them, and then color coordinated them and put them in tubs in our playroom downstairs. So they have plenty of Legos uh, that they can build with and make their own whatever the hell they want uh, So that's what they do most of the time They tend to stay away from my sets because they will build theirs and then they will um, Then they'll get bored of them tear them apart and then the Legos just kind of Disappear like I don't know I guess they eat them. I really don't know where everything goes it doesn't stay in a box or a bag like my sets do that's what i was just saying in a mountain like i t i put my shit together i get done with it i'm like all right time for a change i will tear it apart put it into a ziploc bag it goes into a tub with its instruction booklet i know where they are i know what the you know there's no pieces missing are legos nutritious nah not yet Give them a couple years and I bet they'll make some sort of edible Lego. I mean, there are edible Legos, to be sure. They're candy Legos, but they are definitely not nutritious. I say that with 100% certainty. Uh, like this, right? Like this. How's your summer been going, Ron? Nice and warm for you, I'm sure. If 
after eating them would result in pain similar to stepping on them. Uh, yeah, you're probably right, but in a different location that's probably far more sensitive to that kind of pain. If I had to make a guess. I don't see any difference between that step and this. Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. Yes, I do. Wait, different one, this one. Out of the 95 today. Well, it was 99 here. The uh, heat index was 106. So, you know, nice and toasty here too. I am not in any place that is normally like Good God, the heat. I'm just in Virginia, and that's usually not that bad. Just the humidity here sucked. Nebraska isn't supposed to be this warm. Yeah, well, I went to, I, I don't know if you were on that stream. I went to Michigan a couple weeks ago, and boy, howdy. It was stupid hot there, too. I was like, this is supposed to be Michigan, man. It's supposed to, like, snow half the year or three-quarters of the year. It's it's not. It is it is definitely not supposed to be 90-plus degrees here. But it, it was, and it was not cool. We literally had to go into Canadian waters to find any kind of, like, relief from the heat. We went on the locks. Locks tour um, in between Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. Can't remember which one, it, which the other one that connects to it. I forgot. Um, but anyways, we went on that tour and it was like, it was very hot everywhere else. And we got out on the water and it was like, oh, it's a little cooler out here, but that's, you know, that's the water. It's always cooler on the water. And then... <laughs> Then we got over to Michigan, and it was like, oh, or uh, Canada, and it was like, okay, it's a lot colder here <laughs> by a long shot, but it was welcomed, to be sure. <sighs> but yeah, I imagine Nebraska is not necessarily the hottest place in the world most of the time anyways i blame myself really for the heat because before we left i we were talking to my wife's aunt and uncle who we were going to meet in michigan and i made the joke of like boy i hope we get to michigan during the one week of summer when it's not cold we did we got to Michigan during the one week of summer when it was record-breaking heat. So, glad I said that out loud. Because it definitely was. Yes, nailed it. A lot like Germany. Hmm. I like that you say that like I would understand really what the temperatures in Germany would be like. I do not know this. Where am I putting this? Here? That doesn't feel right. Oh, oh, oh I put it on the wrong end. So this. Across that. Yes, that is right. That is correct. So, got it. Oh, hot dog. hot dog. Yep. We had burgers tonight, no hot dogs. Kids had hot dogs. I did not have a hot dog. Am I missing another piece again? Is it right in front of my face and I don't see it? No, no, no. 
No, no. 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 Shit, really? Am I blind to this piece? There should be another single blue, white, blue, white. Yeah, that's a blue stud, and I'm not seeing it. After some sleep, have a good evening. You too, man. Thanks for stopping in. I will catch you later, I'm sure. Did I put one of these in the wrong spot or something? Because, like, I'm not seeing it. Well, that's going to fucking grind everything to a halt if I got to go downstairs and find this piece. Like, is usually good about not putting the wrong pieces or leaving out pieces. Did I miss this piece and I put it in the wrong spot? Or there. That piece. Oh, that's... Hold on. Sons of the bitches. I put that piece on there wrong. That... Not supposed to be there. It should be... This piece should go here like this. This goes like this. Bitch. That. Not putting in there at all. Okay. There we go. All right. Crisis averted. To this. Okay. All right. Back on track now. A little nervous there, but. We're okay. Yep, we're not okay. What? Oh, they just... Just kind of sit in there? That doesn't feel right. Guess maybe they do. That all seems right. Does not feel secure in there. Oh, maybe it does. Are we sure about this? Are we sure about this? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Feels weird. Feels weird, but I guess it's right. Let's see. That shouldn't be all the way. That's also wrong. that there we go this has to go here strategy my oklahoma ass that's cheating plain and simple i ain't cheating man i'm just trying to put shit together if i could cheat on this i, I might just still don't feel like those two pieces are in there right but I followed the instructions on those. I paid attention to it this time. All right, so these gotta go in like this. No, like this. John, you ever gonna come back and stream again? 
this coming from a guy that took a year to come back streaming again. Mm -mm. Nope. Put the pieces on there correctly. Oh. Have here and there two in the last two months. Oh, that's not bad. Felt real accomplished that I got on here again tonight. Even if I didn't do the thing I set out to do originally. What do you what were you streaming? What are you streaming? Did it backwards. backwards. Pieces piss me off because I always assume I'm putting them on the right way and I never am. Power World and Diablo 4. Rim World. All right, sell me on Rim World because I think that is, if I'm not mistaken, that is on a was maybe should be this word I'm using was on a pretty deep sale damn it it's it backwards again uh on steam oh uh, uh, podcast oh look at you fancy pants terrible dad bros okay. all right And it goes like this. Yeah, I felt like it was really weird um, when I was streaming a lot. Everybody was streaming. Not that I'm like, the, you know, litmus test for streaming or anything, but like I was streaming a lot. Everybody else was streaming a lot. And then I stopped and like a lot of other people kept streaming for a little while. And then like everyone stopped like no one is active anymore and it was very uh, somewhat relieving but also like bum it bummed me out because i was like well i don't want i'm if i'm not streaming i want to be able to watch other people and like i can't remember the last time i saw rollo on or any of those guys honestly at least in a streaming capacity single gray brick where did you go from world steep learning curve but satisfying when you grasp it such as your electricity maintained to keep your fridge cooled so you food fresh oh that's one of them so it's like a less taxing dwarf fortress I guess or more, I guess, I don't know. Isn't, isn't Dwarf Fortress like that? Don't you have to do all kinds of crazy shit? Survival style game. Tax, okay. I have a friend who's tried to get me into it on several occasions and I'm like, eh, I don't know. Oh, okay, fun. Take care of that. Well, good luck. Yikes. Okay, so that one goes this way. Through the opposite one to go the opposite way. I can find another gray single brick. I don't think I'm gonna though. Because that one that I used 
came from something else. Well, shit. I'm gonna use that black brick because I might need it. Let's see if I actually need Doesn't look like I actually will. So maybe we'll use that black brick. I don't know what happened to the other gray brick, but must have put it somewhere. Not gonna see that brick anyway, so it don't really matter. Okay, now let's build whatever this is. A three brick blue. Put these guys on the ends of this. Vertical claws, like that. And I need two stickers for this one. Is this the last of my stickers? Close. One more after that. All right, what do I need? Six. Six goes where? Six goes on the bottom of this. Thing facing back. This. Oh, this is a thin one. It's really hard to get on here, right? All right, I think that's on there as good as it's gonna get. I don't remember, I need two. Two, gotcha. Two goes. I think I may have used one of those wedge pieces incorrectly. Shit. Oh well. Nothing I can do about it now. Goes on the inside of this. Like. Tell you what, man, placing these stickers is not easy to get those things centered like that. All right, and that goes this. And then I need the other one. That's my last sticker, right? That's seven. Yeah. That goes this way. Oh, Run's kid is okay. That's not cool to throw it up in bed. I've definitely been there before. My own children and boy, it sucks. For a number of reasons. Most importantly, because now you have a vomit filled bed. You know what kids don't like? 
sleeping in vomit. It's probably 10 o'clock in Nebraska. I would imagine they're at least an hour behind us. I don't know if they actually are or not. But yeah. I totally did use that piece wrong, didn't I? I oh, know there it is, it's right here. I got it. The tiniest little logo on there, right here on this top piece. Not an easy one to spot. I'm glad they don't use a whole lot of those three, bl three brick black bricks because I would have missed it and used it a long time ago. And now it says I need another sticker. Oh shit, I, was, I thought I was done. Nope. Totally another sticker right here. This is my last sticker. Crooked as hell, god damn it. Wouldn't have happened if I had a separator. Okay, so this now goes into this piece here. Box in like that. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Those aren't gonna fit on there. I don't think that's gonna fit. Surprise me, Lego. Exactly. What? Shit. Damn it, not the piece I'm trying to pick up. That's it. Yeah, what did I do wrong there? This clearly needs to go up somehow. There's no way that fits on there correctly. I must have boned something up pretty well. That, that one, there we go. All right. All right. All right. I still don't feel confident about it, but okay. It fits now. I guess I'll take it the way it worked. So, whatevs. All right. Finish this last piece off here. This, and then a three blue flat, and the three gray. Same thing on the other side. Oh, blue one on the outside. Okay, good, clearly. Oh boy. really screwed this engine compartment up that should like snap into there and it ain't snapping into no slim gems here yeah that is fucked how did I screw that up it's those pieces right there that are screwed up and I don't know oh boy what happened Like this clearly is going to what the shit. This is meant to I would imagine 
click into this and this, right? But that's hitting right on that ridge. It's never gonna work there. So it has to go in this section here. And you would think, I just, I, that, that looks ugly. There's no way that that's correct. That's just kind of floating there. No way that's right. It looks like his hood's gonna pop off. I'm gonna have to rebuild this section of this car. Snap this out. It's way more engine than I wanted to pull out, but whatever. Right? Like that's the way that should work. And that's not going to work that way. Something has horribly gone wrong with this section right here. I don't know what it is whatsoever. That looks like it fits nice and flat and clean. This is not, this is anything but nice and flat and clean. Those are like on a totally different level. Noose. Doesn't appear to be any space there, so like this doesn't work. It doesn't work anyways, because it just pops the fuck off. Alright, we're gonna have to rebuild that, because that's jacked up. Let's build the spoiler and then be done, because I have boned this up somewhere and it's irritating me now. But at least I can build the spoiler and put the wheels on and say, look, Brian's car looks like dog shit because I messed it up. And there's a wing sides like this and this. These go down like that. And like that. This snaps on here, like this. Here's your spoiler. And we need to take a front windshield. That's uh, back windshield. Front windshield. This on here. Take this piece. And a gray lunchbox piece? Oh, there's blue piece. Go beneath like this. This sits on top, angled back. Underneath here, like so. Goes like that. Right? that this is the back windshield that goes in this looks fine now let's do the front windshield nope not yet on top here like this add my corners in like so like so front windshield gets a flat piece like this goes on like that and then tires and i think that's it whoa what the hell what the hell happened there i don't know how i got stuck on a hell cam but whatevs all right and then we put our tires on 
Oops. It's gonna be this side. It's gotta be your bowl. Okay, that goes like that. That goes like this. And this one gets this like this. Tire snap on like this and this and this and this. And now it just looks like my car's had a slight wreck. I really don't know what what went wrong there. That's it. It's, it should kind of fit in there like that, but that's I've screwed that up somewhere and now I need to fix it. That's the way it should look. Uh, why it doesn't, I don't know. Interestingly, leave these studs out like this this doesn't seem right to me I feel like it should be a flat piece but hey what do I know I'm no Lego master builder so clearly clearly I'm not a master builder thought I was but nope the Lego bricks they say otherwise okay I'm done this is irritating me and I need to fix it so Anywho's, I'm going to figure out why my camera doesn't work, and then I'm going to go to bed. And guess that's it for me for the evening. Um, I will probably be back later this week. I don't know. If I can figure out. Kind of make Starfield work better. Maybe I'll be back later this week. But if not, then I will definitely be back on Monday of next week. And we'll do some more something. Some sort of stream. Who, who knows what kind of streaming we'll do at that point. Maybe we'll do it with a functional camera. Or not. Maybe we'll just do this nonsense again. Either way, that's it for me. Um, so until then, catch y'all on the flip flop. If I want to go to the arcade, like, I am going to go. Score. <laughs> <laughs>